the Versa. What's up, champions? Today I'm here with um, the press. They're taking some pictures today. Um, it's about We Play Strong. Pretty interesting. It's gonna be, um, what's, what's the newspaper called? Tageswoche. Tageswoche, it's a newspaper here in um, Basel. So they're just taking a few shots of me right now. Um, so just, just say cheese for the camera. Hey! <laughs> I hope you like my hat. <laughs> okay, cool. Hi guys, so today is Carnival in Germany and this is my costume. I'm Michaela Schifflin and today um, we're doing a walk through the village so everyone wears his own costume and yeah, we stop at every house and get some food and eat and just enjoy the beautiful day. Now we just uh, knock at the door and we try to get some food to come up. So let's go. Right now we're at our last station. It's been a tough day. It was very long and right now it's five o'clock and my girl Lindsay and I we will have our last drink and just enjoy the rest of the day. Bye! Bye. At the Harry Potter studios today for my dad's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Hogwarts Express! Okay, I'm off to Hogwarts! Bye! <laughs> okay, so anyone that's not been to Harry Potter World has to go Watford in London. It's a must do. Go and do it. Amazing. So I'm actually going to show you around our facilities real quick. So that's called the Luftschiffhafen and that's where we practice every day and where our locker room is. And it's a sports school like I mentioned in one of the previous episodes. And yeah, I'm just going to show you all the fields and all the facilities real quick and all the buildings. In there is our track and field area, like the indoor track and field session. That's this building right here. So for indoor season that's where they practice. In here we have our practice stadium. It's also used for outdoor track and field, so it's not just football, but that's where we practice like well, every day basically we're on this field. In there is swimming and track and field. Right here is another grass field. Sometimes we're in there to practice. It's just a smaller field, so it's good for like set pieces and stuff you can practice in there or do some shooting and some ball work. Over here is another field that's also for track and field and we also do some like when we do conditioning we do some sprints and running here on this track. So this is our turf field and there's our youth teams practicing right now. I think that's under 15. Yeah that's the under 15 team 
and they are practicing on the turf field at the moment. What's good, champions? So today I'm in the gym. I'm gonna do a little um, quick feet workout with the ladder. I just like doing it. I don't know why. <laughs> it gives me some more power, I would say. I don't know. Let's go and do it real quick. Um, so the first exercise is gonna be one contact each. And the next exercise is gonna be a quick contact inside. So you're gonna stand right next to the letter and you're gonna give one quick contact. So this is how it's gonna look like. Same thing with your left foot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple more rounds. That was my first round and yeah, my heart is already pumping. So yeah, so that was pretty much my program. I'll see you guys there. game of the spring season yesterday and we played at Jena so it was an away game and we actually won 5-0 so it was a good start into the season um, it wasn't our best performance we actually scored four goals of set pieces but hey we got the three points and that's all that matters at the moment and today is also a special day because it's my birthday woohoo I'm gonna be 25 Yay! Birthday! Even though today is the day after a game, it also means we have a game coming up next weekend, which means recovery already has to start. And I'm just gonna show you some of my basics I usually do after the game. Um, this morning we actually had a 30 minute run, so just to get our legs moving again and the girls who did that didn't play at the game, they had to do some extra running just to get the conditioning in. And now that I'm at home, I'm gonna show you like a few foam rolling things and a few stretching things I usually do after the game to get ready for the next one. So foam rolling is actually super easy, but helps a lot just to like um, loosen up your muscles a little bit after the games and you can just feel like where you need to roll the most. Like if you have a spot in your calf or something, you feel like, oh, that hurts, just stay on there for a little bit. Try to relax your foot and keep rolling. They see me rolling, they hating. Not just kidding, but yeah, just roll whatever muscle you need. If it's your quad, if it's your hamstrings like I'm doing right now. And it actually helps a lot. You can also use what I usually do. If you have like a special spot that you feel really tight or something, you can use this ball or I also have this one. So there's different kind of rollers and yeah, so just find the spot, get on the ball and roll it. Special effects. <laughs>
post birthday dinner tonight since yesterday was my birthday but yeah we're having raclette again let's do this excited lisa i'm very hungry <laughs> let's do this oh austrian beer by the way and fanta fanta and of course red bull Uh, Full, Lisa? Yeah. Satisfied? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so now it's time for some football. Champions League. Heading home now. It's actually really cold. But yeah, we watched some soccer. We had some good dinner, raclette. And yeah, I guess my birthday is finally done and over. I have to wait another year. Oh, can't wait for next year. Yeah, like I said, you're 26. 26, it's already going downhill now. So 26 is gonna be even worse, but hey, I'll be fine. This is how we do it. That was a little workout for me. Yes, three points. I woke up having three more points. Um, we won last night. Still happy about it. Still partying. It feels really good to have three points. Oh my god, you guys don't even know. I have a few questions to answer for you, so let's get straight into the questions. Um, the first question was, why do I love soccer or football? Um, I just love it. It's an amazing sport. I grew up with it. I love this skillful stuff. I love everything about football. It's just, that's the only thing I know is football. And, I don't think any other sport is better than football to me, but yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I love it. Why did I play on the boys team when I was younger and not on the girls team? To be honest, um, when I was like very little, I thought I was the only girl who could play football. I didn't know any other girl just because I played on the boys team and I I just, I don't know, when I was like six years old, there was a coach who wanted to, who wanted me, who wanted me to play on the boys team. And I said yes, and then I've been, I've been playing for that, like for like 10 or 11 years. So I didn't know anything else. So, and I don't, honestly don't regret playing on the boys team because I feel like I got to know the men's side of football, which I'm really glad about because it's, it's a different style. They're more aggressive and all that. And, I feel like um, that's also my style of playing football now. So I'm really gr glad about playing that I've um, played on the boys team for that long. So if you guys have any more questions, just comment them down below and we will answer you all the questions. Um, Laura, Sarah, and Lisa, we are more than happy to answer all the questions for you. So I guess I'll see you guys when I see you guys. So stay tuned for the next episode. And have a nice day, so bye.